Whoa, what's going on, folks? Uh, this is your boy Dub in here. You know what I'm saying? Got Ross Graylin and Noah as well. Um, yo, this yo, is episode yo. 26 of the podcast. Yeah, yeah. We're back in this thing, man. Weekend pod. All fellas, all mm. fellas podcast this time, yeah. man. One time for the fellas, fellas man. One time. Yeah, one, time fellas, man. Man. one time. One time. One time for the black man need- out there. We need it. Yeah, we do. Sure. We, yeah. we definitely do, man. How y'all been? How y'all been holding up? So far this week, then I've been a long week, you know. Uh, mm-hmm. kind of, it's kind of getting old with, with everything that's going on as far as you know, the, 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 the injustice, and you know, now COVID I'm talking about this yeah. is going to come bring a rain of a new rain of terror down on us. Round two, round two, fight round two, right? Right, oh yeah, my gosh, bro. People still getting angry about wearing the mask. So I, right. I feel like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like to fill up my breath. With- That's crazy. That's, That's the fact you know people do that. Facts. Yeah. That's what they mad at. <laughs> what? They gotta go eight hours of smelling their own self. Your own breath. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sick of this shit. I mean. <laughs> Not shit, but I mean, this is one of those things where you know it's funny how Texas opened back up. Maybe was it like a month ago? It was like maybe a month. I want to say it was like a month ago, yeah. couple couple yeah. months ago. We was like one of the first few states. Of course, Florida they ain't give no fucks. Yeah, Florida been Florida. Them yeah, niggas I, are like man. They've been a one since day one. We yeah. not going to take it. <laughs> Those niggas don't give no Florida, fucks. Florida, Florida is the crappy state, bro. They, yeah. They, they go for whatever. They did not give yeah. two fucks at they all. They did not but care when, at all. But when Texas opened up, you know what I'm saying, boys was, they was ready. You know what I'm saying, boys was itching just to have a reason to get out. And, and now right. the cases have spiked tremendously to the point where he had to shut shut down like the bars and stuff like that now for, for the time being. It I don't know how long it's gonna be, but you can see a lot of people on social media complaining that their uh, uh, their weekends plans were canceled or you know what I'm saying set back. Ah. And it's like I, I think that should stop. No way. Huh? <laughs> I wasn't doing that. No way. So <laughs> I think they should stop canceling it, man. Let them go out. Let, let them let them do their thing. It's starting to become a point where it's just like you know what? Go ahead. Go. Yeah. Go enjoy yourself. Go go go. Turn up. Let's see how it's gonna don't be when come you back over here. Yeah, don't come back. If you go turn up, right. don't come to the hospital. I think they should sign waivers. Wow. <laughs> don't come to the hospital. Don't go to the hospital. Nah, have, you can have tickets for people that aren't wearing their masks in specific buildings. Yes. Yes. I mean, because you gotta think, bro, these people are like a for real thing. I know people in the medical field, and it's like it's really, really serious to the point to where people are coming in like every Friday. They say it's like they're getting a like flooded and it's just mm-hmm. like people coming in from doing stuff and it's a lot of young it's more young people a lot of times than old people mm-hmm. and they come in there they been somewhere and they didn't find out somebody didn't caught it and then they try to test and they're not feeling well and they can't really handle it icu is like overcapacitated and it's like now it's to the point to where they're uh admitting grown-ups to the texas children's hospital oh wow yeah, yeah. Like that's how bad it is. Like I think they say we're at ninety seven percent. I know Methodist for sure said they're at ninety seven percent um capacity with their Jeez. ICU. That's a lot of people, bro. Nigga, that means there's one more bed left. <laughs> Basically, percentage wise. Yeah. Like nigga, like people just need to chill. One more bed left in the so, hospital. You can see from like a nurse or like a doctor's perspective mm-hmm. when they you know, you got your young nurses out there that's working doubles. And then you go on Instagram, you see people just turning up. Yo, my, you like, come on, bro. Like, really? Right. Like, you could really just be sitting your ass at home because you're going to be one of those people that's going to be in my, one of my units later on and this week. And even uh, before, when you remember when they first closed down everything, boys were still having the house parties. <clears throat> that's yeah. all I saw. Boys yeah. were having like the house fine, parties. As long as it's your inner circle, you know, the people that you are on a consistent base talking to, Hanging out with daily, if you know their daily routine and activity, right? Yeah. 
Like well, it, was, it was more than that. <laughs> we, yeah. nah, I'm pretty sure y'all seen was, some of the bad. stories. <clears throat> Like, it was, boys was just, you know, cramped in one room. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Fuck COVID-19 all up in the screen and shit. It's like all they the still particles. Still behind each other. Right? Oh, somebody wait, just said that. Fuck what? Damn, somebody said just said that on the store. Fuck COVID. We all got it anyway. We're about to get it. I'm just going to see that. Oh, yeah, I've been oh, seeing that shit, too. It's always like, a nigga. Don't wanna, like, embrace that type of... Oh, yeah, let's just do what we gonna do. We gonna die anyway. I don't know. Nah, I've seen a lot of people with that mentality, especially of late. Since, uh, uh for those who don't know, uh, governor in uh, in Texas Abbott. decided, uh, Abbott he decided to <laughs> shut down the bars and clubs and like no events over a hundred people. Abbott should have been doing that shit. He, you know he, what I'm saying? He don't got no choice right now. That's why he doing Yeah, because, you know, right. it's, it's one of those type of things where the the, the numbers are outweighing <laughs> the amount of help we have to, you know, care for people. So, you know, it's one of those things where now that that's happened, you know, people is talking about, oh, man, I don't know why he even closed it down. Might as well just kept it open, bro. Hmm. Man, I'm sure he's sure 99% of us, Sick. you know, niggas, nigga logic. 99% of us already have it. And it's like, bro, like, what are you doing? Go hey, on, bro. Nigga, hey, what, what's going to happen to, like, the bartenders, the waitresses, and things like that that are at these clubs? And we also haven't got stimulus checks on a consistent base. I mean, you already have one. <laughs> That's it. Look at that one. Yeah, that, that was 1200 Sorry to hear that. That was it. Niggas, <laughs> niggas spent that shit on... <laughs> And food, nigga. They're gone. I heard it's supposed to be another one coming. Yeah, like yeah. Gracious with it. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's going. Hope y'all niggas are joking. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Only three of us gonna enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that sucks. Bro, I, I checked all the boxes of of, of uh, the person who couldn't get it. <laughs> I just think so. I checked all the boxes. I just oh, looking at your mailbox, hoping. Hey, <laughs> work, all the homies are like, I got mine. Mine came through, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, man, I ain't even going to check my shit. I know ain't nothing coming for me. Let me say, my king. They give you a bill. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, sir, you oh. owe. <laughs> you owe. You owe some yeah, money. I already know, so just take it. Put my <laughs> name on it, and then just put it back in your, into your account. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> No, nah, they doing because most of that really went to bills. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, right. Well, most it should have. Yeah, a key word. It just needs to go to the people Dude, that really, man. really need it. You know I mean? get that stimulus yeah. check. I'm not lying to you. I'm getting that PS5. <laughs> this nigga's gonna save up the money. Put that Bro, I, the, I, That's the PS5 I, fund. Yeah, four, man. I, I gotta wait till. Listen, usually with that kind of stuff, you gotta wait till the whole the first wave go out. Let the first way it go nice. out of this. I did say that. Bugs. It still has some bugs, you know. You had to get through all of that. The <laughs> second or third way, copy. Then that way it'll be it'll be like seven hundred dollars. You can do that. Well, well, I thought that's supposed how much it was be, gonna be now. <laughs> it's supposed to be five hundred. It's five hundred, and then it's three nine. It's four ninety nine and three ninety nine because they're two different ones. Mm-hmm. You have the digital. What to the third one? There's no third one. There is no third one. Oh, never mind. I think it was like a Spider Man edition. Right. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, so it's it's five ninety nine, and what plus three? What plus three ninety nine? No, I thought it's, it's originally five hundred. It's five hundred, uh-huh. and then for the regular one, the digital edition, that's the one. It doesn't have a digital hard drive on it. That's three ninety nine. That's it. So if you want, if you want your games on a physical hard copy, because some people do, you can yeah. get the one that's five hundred. If you want your games on a digital copy where you can only download it online, but still have the same console, you just pay a hundred dollars cheaper. But what what is the memory looking like? Because if you get the digital, it's the same. It better lifetime. The memory. But the the only thing about it, you have to take your whole system to a person's house to play a game compared to you taking a hard copy of a disc. Yeah, that's the only trade off. I mean, but they do have that PS share. So give me the Xbox universe. Give me that hoe. <laughs> Man, that thing will be like 300 pounds. 
already <laughs> announced with that put the, one. Put the Xbox in the trunk. The Xbox One. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I uh, that up. one, I think, I'm not sure how much the, the original one is, but I know they, they just announced that the cheaper version of it is going to be like $299. It's going to be like 300 Oh, so that's a pair of shoes. I'll do that. Yeah. So really, kind of mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you want me to go? <clears throat> yeah, I do. Not right now. Maybe later. <laughs> right. I'm getting both, so it's whatever. I'm getting both, man. Both. Oh, oh. Yeah, I'm getting both. Oh, baller. I'm not a baller. You know he balling. I'm not a baller, bro. Everybody what is financial. On the M. I'm not. Nigga say I'm getting both. I used to have both. This is a funny thing. I used to have both. I hear you, buddy. I did, man. Wow. I hear you, buddy. Me with the guy with the shoes in the back. Right. Wow. Just wow. one. Chill, just half guys. of them. He was just showing half of us guys. <laughs> just half chill, of guys. Chill, guys. Very well, slight. Get up. I'm gonna get up in a minute, Ross. Cause you're trying to play. <laughs> play right you know what I'm saying? Let me, let me bring the air. Let me bring the AirPods in here. Let me just hang it. Oh, you know? oh that's the guy that got the money. He got. The I new got it. That was a Father's Day gift. He Don't got play the it. new AirPods, guys. <laughs> I would never pull that trigger. He got. The and noise. I hurt. Them hoes is live, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. Them hoes is wow, bro. They're pretty nice. I can cancel the kids out. Like, oh, I was gonna cancel the kids. What you mean? Yes, <laughs> yes, bro. Like the, the noise it. cancellation feature on there, that shit is legit. Bro. It's kind of creepy though. On the cool, because like, you literally, if somebody wanted to rob you, you gone, you donezo, bro. Because you would never hear them coming. They can be like, they can be like, yo, dub. I'm about to rob you, and I'm gonna broadcast it. First of all, why does he know my name? I mean, because you don't. I don't like this scenario. Airpods. Yeah, because you don't even <laughs> with. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't make up a scenario. You're the only one with them. <laughs> That'd be a fucked up way to to get robbed. No, it would. You can be over there listening to. What, what listening am I listening to? to? I'm listening to some gangster shit getting robbed. <laughs> <laughs> Give me That's these AirPods. That's a bad way to go out. It's real horrible. Don't tell nobody nah. that. Say I was in a gang fight. I was in the middle of a gang fight. Nah. <laughs> gang nah, fight. I was, I was stopping the bloods in the crypts. In Pearland. <laughs> and Shut up, bro. I'm, I'm going to say I knew he was listening to Sting before he got white. I got some Pearland gangsters, man. He was listening wow, to Kenny G. G. <laughs> yeah, he was a G yes. boy. He said, Kenny G, bro. Y'all yeah, stupid, bro. So Beethoven, is, so Beethoven is black. That's what they're saying, man. I did hear that, yeah. The, uh, the man, the myth, the legend. Do, 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 do. They know this, re, this rewrites history if Beethoven do, 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 like, for real, for real black. Yeah, I, I stop playing them everywhere. <laughs> like, they definitely going to stop playing them. With the Texas I, culture, I feel like they're going to end up chopping and screwing them soon. If they haven't already, you boys, <laughs> chop right. but not slop. OG <laughs> Run C, you know what I'm saying? We got DJ Be- Michael Watts, Beethoven on Be- 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 Beethoven, Michael 5K Watts. <laughs> they gonna fuck around with the beginning. Right. Man, this my shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> Is somebody gonna try to put a feature with him on that? Like, oh, right. I got a feature with like, Beethoven. Put Bach on that. Put put Bach. <laughs> it will be kind of loud though. A feature with Beethoven. <laughs> yeah, it was just uh, the Beethoven track, nigga. Beethoven instrumental, man. And freestyle put, over that mug. I was about to see where somebody freestyle over it. Hey, maybe on the song. We, we might be on the song, bro. We might hey, be on the hey, song. Hey, hey shout out right. to the homie Beethoven. You know what I'm saying? We never knew you was a brother until right now. Copy <laughs> right now. So niggas gonna be out here. Hey. I feel like it's a lot of things that aren't really introduced in history that are black. Of course. Oh, <laughs> thanks. If of you course. think about that, like Egyptians, if you look at your history books, they got the palest skin. They definitely all weren't. That stuff. Yeah, not know, from that region. They, they definitely were weren't just like us. Mm-hmm. What's they doing in history? Like, I feel like we have to rewrite all of our like learning. We gotta fight it, it, for what's ours. Yeah, in a way, in a way, we do. Um, which is which is weird. It is. Yeah, and I think it's more weird, especially having children, because it's like. <clears throat> 
now is like it's different from what you learned all the years you was in school. Yeah. But you also have this supply of information that we didn't have as kids. No, facts. So, so if honestly, you know what I'm saying, parents that are aware of situations, they want to put like their children up on game. Like for us, we grew up knowing, knowing about Juneteenth. But in other places in the country, they didn't know about that shit. Right. They didn't know about that until this year. You know what I'm saying? So it's one of those things where, you know, our parents were kind of our knowledge on what's really going on out here. And now we're in a situation where we in this digital age, you know, we can also be like, all right, I'm sure they're teaching you this, but let's, you know, let's do some research on what really went down so you know the truth. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's the brilliance sometimes of having technology so ready like at your fingertips you can research stuff you know what i'm saying and, and, and of course back then it was just going to the library and of course the books didn't help you because they were with saying the, power, the same with thing the, with the people. power card with the power what? card, you know what i'm saying but now you're in a situation where you can all right let me see what my teacher really talking about uh, you know what i'm saying let me bring this to my mom and pop oh well i'm not sure about that you may want to look into that let's let's check it out together Boom, now you can learn a little bit more about your history that, you know, of course, people tend to shy away from in the textbooks. So that's that's really the only way we can really truly know our history and where we come from and our, our like, our relevance into the country today. Because if you want to keep it a buck, Black people were a big part of creating the country that niggas live on today. Yeah. Just back. Well, we're going to keep it too Virgil. Two birds. Two birds. That's because that's what it is. Like we <laughs> we built this country. Yeah. It was stolen from people that lived here, <laughs> and then we built the infrastructure. You know what I'm saying? And I'm proud to see, like kids now are really starting to dive into their history more. Mm-hmm. This is good because of what's going on. So they're starting to understand like, hey, we are the creators of these things. We are the trendsetters. We are the people that make this country just as great as the next person, if not better, based on some of it. But still building it. You know what I'm saying? Like the culture, the culture is still, you know, running rapid through all different kind of races and, and, and all this other stuff. So yeah, black people still, we still building it. It's mm-hmm. a it's a steady, you know, half the stuff that these other races are doing, where they getting it from? Mm-hmm. Or where is it where is, where is it originating from? Mm-hmm. Flash, but, flash, flash. Yeah. And, you know, it's it's flattering though. It when really they, when, is. When they take what's ours and try to, you know, put a little twist. Like, I'm like, oh, it's, that's flattering. <laughs> he said, no, that's flattering. flattering. Now stop it. <laughs> <laughs> now stop it. Because yeah. they use they it. They, teach them, but they still can do it. <laughs> yeah, they, they use it until they get tired of it. It's like, ah, you know, mm-hmm. that was for, for then. So. No, nah, that's that's super fun. That's super fact. So, like, um, one thing about black people, bro, like when we come together because we know we the shit, we're unstoppable. Yeah, like that's I, I'll forever keep saying that, bro. Like when when we come together, when we come together, bro. Like as long as we divide it, other people rule, other races, you know, kind of keep that that hold on us. But when we come together, bro, we 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 shake shit up. Yeah. And so, speaking of coming Canada. together, how y'all feel about the J. Cole and No Name, like, discussion they were having? Because me and Doug, we finally got a chance to check that out. Oh, yeah. How, how, do, you, how do you guys feel about it if you guys heard uh, both their tracks and just the discussion that was happening on social media and just a uh, lot of – it was it – was, mm, this, like, splitness between just don't – be, Don't be scared. Just people in, within our community, bro. It was it, it started turning into uh, what's what's the term that they use now? Uh, police police toning. Now that's a thing. I didn't know that was a thing. I didn't know that's what they were calling it. Police toning. Yeah, it's like it, toning so- someone's like policing their tone, and basically, J Cole's defense on why he felt the way he felt. He had mentioned it in tweet. He's like, you know what I'm saying? You can also explain situations with a better tone or whatnot. And people ran with that. Why she gotta, why she gotta watch her tone? 
Yeah. Why she can't just yeah. say what she Not say and mean what she say? He trying to get us canceled, bro. She did. She did. <laughs> why, you, why you doing the neck bro? I feel like it's a 50-50 because mm-hmm. before you, like, drop anything, you got to think before you speak, especially mm-hmm. in the climate that we're in right now. Okay. So maybe if it was something that you felt was kind of disrespectful, talk to the person. Try to get to that camp mm-hmm. and see about that. Because there's certain things that women tend to hold very dear to them. One mm. of the most dearest things that they hold to them is their voice. True. Because right. Malcolm said the most unappreciated person in the, in the world is the black woman. And one of the things that black women really hold is that voice and they talk, they let you hear it. Also with the seduction in their voice, we like we tend to like the so when somebody's explaining something, it may not feel disrespectful, but at the same time, she just wants to get out her frustration. She wants to get out that situation to where everybody understands how she feels. Mm-hmm. And Cole probably didn't feel that certain type of way. He was just like, hey, talk nice. Well, she probably been talking nice. but And then also no name on one end can definitely Say, hey, if you didn't understand that, let me pull you to the side, break it down. Mm-hmm. True. And that way, both parties could be cool with it. But we don't True. need that dividing because now it turns into a big gender war. Yeah. It's the same race. Yep. Facts. Um, facts, facts, facts. I mean, I feel like as well, I feel like Cole, I think Cole used what happened as a way to creatively express himself to his art. Because I feel like Cole didn't, he felt like attacked. You know what I'm saying? Like if if one of the homies, like if one of y'all say something like, man, none of my niggas do such and such and such and such, you're going to be like, nigga, what you mean? You know what I'm saying? Like, because it kind of seemed like it was directed towards like him, Kendrick, you know, the people that be spitting on the, the black uh, subjects and stuff like that. So. In a way, I, I mean, I, I do see both sides, but you mm-hmm. know, I also see why Cole. I know because people was like questioning why did he choose to speak about that, but I feel like he felt that you were saying, I'm not doing enough. And he felt like, man, maybe I'm not doing enough. But mm-hmm. since you got the backing and you come from a background where um, you were educated on this subject, school us, but school us in a way to where we can understand it. Don't talk at us, pretty much Mm -hmm. talk to us. Mm -hmm. Um, And I also got the fact that of all the things going on, the first thing you probably didn't want to do was just come at a a black woman about what she was saying in her tone. So I was like, I I mean, I really get both sides, Mm -hmm. but I like how they handled it. It didn't go, it didn't go further. Um, No name put out her track. And then she also sent out an apology. And I I personally feel like they probably did had a lot of conversations behind the scenes. Yeah. And kind of ceased it, you know, because you don't really hear about it too much right now. Um, but I, I personally just like how they handle it. Uh, mm-hmm. It was a lot of different people choosing sides and attacking one another, talking about cancel Cole. And then some people saying no name is annoying because she's using – uh, her platform to just kind of annoy, like bringing up people's name to like be annoying a little bit. So like some, I, I kind of see both sides, but I just feel like they handled it the right way. They both said how they felt. Mm-hmm. Cole wasn't being rude, ignorant, saying, B, you need to say it. Watch how you yeah, felt. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just personally felt like the cancel Cole thing was a little bit going too, it was going too far because if you want to cancel it, it's a lot of niggas you can really cancel you know, versus a nigga like Cole who actually be trying to, it was yeah. actually out there in mm-hmm. the, you know, during protests, protesting, like he on the front line, he ain't really talking, putting mm-hmm. action. Um, right. 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 So the only thing that I disagree with was the cancel Cole part. But uh, personally, I just like how they handled it. It didn't, it didn't go crazy. They mm-hmm. ended it and I'm sure they had a conversation to, you know, clear things up with each other. So facts. yeah. Facts, facts, facts. What you think, Grayla? <laughs> he said <laughs> Grado was about I... to get in his bag Nah he, ready. he was You was about to start off in your bag earlier <laughs> 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 I 
I think I don't know enough about it. Mm, okay. I, I, I heard I heard about it. Um like I heard when he like when he dropped the track or whatever. Mm-hmm. And, and <clears throat> for me not being a huge J. Cole fan, I didn't want to go listen to it. Gotcha. Uh, mm. Don't don't stone me. No, it's cool. We've but, had this we've had this conversation before. It's cool. Oh yeah, we have. We have. We have. Um so yeah, with me not really being a just a huge J. Cole fan, I didn't want to go listen to the track. So I didn't really know what people was talking about. So um the most I know about it is uh he put out the track. Apparently he was sending subliminals. You know, people thought it was that no name. Apparently it was. And like I said, he said something about a tone. But I'm, I I remember hearing somebody saying like, like the whole cancel J. Cole thing was was outrageous because he was admitting to the fact that the whole social justice thing, like that's that's not him. Mm-hmm. Like he like he, he just a rapper, you know. Like he admits to like, no, I'm not on the front lines. I'm not really uh, I'm not really knowledgeable in it. I'm mm-hmm. not as vocal about it. Like that's that's your lane. You know, so I'm gonna let you do you. You let me do me, which is just rap. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? That's, that's what I heard. That's what I heard mm-hmm. somebody. Say. I was like, all right, that makes sense. Like he he admitting he's not really like a leader per se. So right. get off his dick. But <laughs> that was that was the most I heard about it. After that, I I just kind of it was you know Thanks. I ain't really paying with that much. Um, and plus I I had never heard of no name before. So yeah, when neither. they hit no name, mm-hmm. I I thought it was like just like a random no person. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was like a random person. So I was like, oh, that ain't. Yeah, that ain't yeah, dope. yeah. Yeah, nah. So that's my two cents on it. I ain't, you know. <laughs> but now oh. I know about it from all you guys' takes. So interesting. <laughs> we'll be back to you on the next podcast. <laughs> <laughs> interesting. About to go do a little research. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, I'll be, I'll be a dupe on a lot of stuff too. Like, as far as that. Like I don't, I don't be on social media like that. You know me. So yeah, but I just, I feel like personally, we need to stop looking to celebrities to do shit. Mm-hmm. You know, like yeah. celebrities shouldn't be. I, I think people be like putting too much on celebrities. Like, like, oh, why you ain't saying nothing? Why you ain't like, bro? Pale like, said that man. Your pale said it. Why yeah. am I looking for Ja Rule approval right now? All right, Ja Rule got to say exactly. Fact. Yeah. It's more important people that that are in the discussion than what a rapper got to say. Right. Isn't really educated in the matter as the people that really are involved in it. You know, we need to be mm-hmm. focused on the politicians. We need to be, it's different things that we need to be looking into. And it's a lot of people that are uh, like the Angela Rise. You know what I'm saying? You got you got a lot of people that are speaking, you know, to Mika Mallory, you know, my son. It's, these are people that are actually on the front line uh, and educating you on voting and different things like that in candidates. Um, those are the people you need to look at for certain situations when it comes to, like, who to vote for, who to put in the office, um, how to make change, how to go about being a part of the change, and what you can do from home. You know what I'm saying? Like, they have the numbers you can call. Um, I know they keep sending out this. I keep seeing different um, <clears throat> memes where it's, like, it's it's pretty funny, too. Like, a girl would be like, uh, I finally made an OnlyFans page. Here's the link, and it'll when you it says swipe left, and if you swipe left, it says here's the number. Go uh, call this number so they can arrest the officers who killed Breonna uh, Taylor. And it's like, it is, but it's like it's like a double edged sword. But it's like mm-hmm. I just like the fact that you're using this though to yeah, at least that, try. Right. To if get your involved. mind is in a lustful state, and you about to go see, <laughs> and you look at the OnlyFans, you ain't about to. Yeah, honestly, you're not about to think about that. You up in there. Oh. <laughs> oh, let me call his number. Shit. The rest of these niggas so I can get some ass pictures. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to see her shake this. Arrest these people. <laughs> but it's crazy that you got to do all that to get niggas' attention. Mm-hmm. You know what yeah. I'm saying? To kind of like make them focus on what's, what's reality. Mm-hmm. Like when you can get killed being in your career. I mean, because, you know, it's always people that's like, oh, why don't you just comply? You know what I'm saying? Like, this this whole comply shit that I hear going around. But it's like, bro, when you can be chilling in your crib 
and an officer can come into the wrong apartment and kill you and shoot you and kill you while you in your house, chilling in your apartment on your couch. There's not much complying you can do there. When you could be laying in your bed and officers get the wrong house when they already got the people uh, apprehended that they supposed to have in custody and they come in guns blazing. It's kind of hard. You know what I'm saying? When you could be playing the game with your nephew and officers come through looking through the window and just start blasting at you for no reason. It's kind of hard. So um, it's, it's, it's so many situations. And then this last situation, um, <clears throat> man, bro, it's, it's, it's too many hashtags. I didn't, I didn't even want to watch the video uh, to the, the last young boy um, that was killed. I think it was in 2019 or something like that. Um, he was walking and he had his face mask on because I believe they said he's like anemic. And oh yeah, I heard about that. Officers one. stopped him and he was trying to just get to the crib and they stopped him, held him down. I I, stopped, I cut the video off because I was like, man, it's the same situation that happened with um George Floyd. I couldn't watch the video because it was just like, bro, I'm tired of seeing this. It's gonna kind of it's gonna install something to me that really shouldn't be there. You know, mm-hmm. I don't I don't want to see anybody begging and pleading. You know, you used to seeing shit like that on movies. You know what I'm saying? Not not in real life where you see somebody's mm-hmm. last words. Are them begging for their life? Like, oh, I can't. I'm not in the space to watch anything like that. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. um, <clears throat> us coming together. It's all it's, all deep to talk about. Be honest, be honest with you. No nah, facts. It's all to even talk about. Uh, That's somebody's child. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't. I could never imagine seeing my child on video alive for their last moments, begging for yeah. their life. Like, I, I just, ooh, that that'll create a whole different. Type of monster, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So I, I just—they just, don't show remorse. You, mm-hmm. Like they don't show any remorse on the situation at hand. Like you know what's going on, you're aware of the things that's been going on, and you're still utilizing these harsh protocols, mm-hmm. like very, very harsh. And I just don't care. Bottom line, they don't care. They don't give a damn. And. All these people hanging themselves, you know, is is another weird thing. And this is like, don't don't wait until niggas get to that mode where it's like, that's it. You know, because we we dealing with a different generation. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is true. I think we're, we're the fed up generation. You know what I'm saying? Like, our ancestors went through the struggle, enslaved beaten broken they fought as much as they could we, we've we read upon that all our lives and what you're looking at now is people that read up on history from from a baby seeing the people that look like you be oppressed and now that you're in an age where you can do something about it we the we the fed up generation it's like nah this shit ain't finna roll like how you think it is like I, I appreciate a lot of people getting their gun license. A lot of people are, are arming themselves, and they just like nigga, you got to come take mine. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's a different ball game now with this generation. So I'm just hoping they don't wait until niggas really, really come together. But to come together is not on a peaceful thing. To come together, if it's on ignorance, then they gonna wonder what happened. You know, and I'm just hoping they don't get to that point to where niggas just go out because we've seen it before where um. Niggas went out. They, I think it was somewhere. Not to be mis incorrect, but it, I think it was somewhere in South Park where they just went and randomly shot a police officer who was pumping his gas one day. Damn. You know, and he had, happened to be a cool officer, but damn, like you said, just got to a point. You know, after the whole Trayvon and you know, um, Mike Brown and all, you know, all that stuff was going on. Niggas just start shooting cops randomly. So I, I don't want to get to a. I don't want it to get to a point like that. Mm-hmm. Um, well, we got to take it there. The, did y'all see the the video with the black police officer, like talking about fighting the <laughs> civilians? Yeah, I seen that. <laughs> he was like trying to look swole and shit in the camera, yeah. and then he was. Did y'all see his retraction video? Talking about some yeah, man. If you want to fight, y'all can go ahead and hit me up. We can we fight. Can the waiver. We can sign yeah, that way. Yeah, we can fight. And then. Not even a week later. Hey man, look, yo. If you want to fight me, man, it gotta be a reason why. 
I'm like, come I on, bro. I was talking about clowns. Because niggas clowns. start hitting them up. Some <laughs> professionals want to fight me now and shit. I'm like, bro, sit your ass down, man. You went on. You wanted this. I was word. Shit, I be. Shit, nigga, I could run one with a cop, bro. That 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 wouldn't make a nigga's day more happy mm. than knowing he can run one with an officer and not go to jail. Oh, uh-huh. not get in trouble. <laughs> it's, nah, it's a twist to that. <laughs> Everything that glitter ain't gold. Right. As soon as you start beating that nigga up, bro, it's raps. As soon as you put your dukes up, you gonna see some red red dots. Red yeah. dots everywhere. Yeah. Nah, if you swing, you dead. Niggas gonna call in kill streaks. AC one thirty in the air. What the fuck you got an AC one thirty for? Play too much Call of Duty, nigga. Gotta be smart up here. Don't fall for that. But buddy, buddy, retract the real quick though. Buddy, no, nah, like, he man, did, bro. Boys like, man, was not if playing. You, if you want to fight me. You see, it's all these professionals and stuff now want to fight me, but it got to be a reason why you want to fight me. You can't just fight me just because it got to be a reason. Like, come on, nigga. I don't sound all nothing. Those muscles are not going to use them. A lot of those them niggas. Arms, sir. <laughs> those SpongeBob arms. <laughs> Weenie hood shit. You blew them hoes up. I'm not a whip. I'm a jerk. First of all, if they had in real life, don't lie. Y'all get, y'all, y'all get some. I would. What, some fake muscles? Blow up arms. Anchor arms. Get some not, a, not if I can't pick shit up. That nigga couldn't pick up the cup. That nigga shit was... Take, take the steroids. That nigga, he had to drink like this. Yeah. yeah. How, about, how about them coming out? How about them coming out with Spongebob, though, being... Homosexual yeah, for Pride Month. I was like, like, it is what it is. But did we really need to label SpongeBob? I, I just don't think. I don't think we needed to label it. I think we already knew what SpongeBob was. I just think it was just imagination. <laughs> wait, 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 wait! They did this when recently? This yeah. was just like last week or something like that. Yeah, they announced that SpongeBob is. He came out the closet. I'm coming out. Mm-hmm. I, I want to. A. Yeah, yeah this jellyfish got... stick. I've been I've been working too much. I miss that. Yeah, hey. that's yeah. the thing. They say because now on Nick, uh, Nickelodeon, they've been running like all through Pride Month. You know, what I'm saying just you know in support of that, which is cool. I don't I don't have a I mean, problem with that. Yeah. That's, that's dope. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm I'm pretty sure you know when we was growing up, there was kids that were you know definitely probably thinking about it. But of course, back then, no. No, you had to fake it until you made it. Back then, I would, bro. I, just to read, just to read or I wasn't saying dang, like dang, he, he a homosexual, dang. But like dang, I just I I like that like it wasn't a label. That, that's that's all I was saying. That's you it. know what I'm saying? Like, whatever you thought, if you thought it was it was homosexual, then that's what you thought. You thought it was yeah. straight, then you thought. Yeah. Like I, I I like when they just gave they gave the interpretation, like they let us interpret our own. Oh, of, right, you know, but but they, I, you I, know, I, 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 homosexual. It's like, man, I like, I like, it, I like thinking he was maybe like, you know, something else, you know, maybe like a, you know, oh, hi, just, oh, you know, just a sponge, oh, yeah. my nigga. It's just a like a vegetarian. Sponge. I don't know. He don't got nothing to do, nothing with. So I don't even see why they had to. Sponge. Yeah, yeah I, he has a lot of holes. My SpongeBob was a vegetarian. You know what I'm saying? That's see, and I, I like. Noah. No, nigga said he got a lot of holes. Nigga one day had the suds, bro. I don't think he was worried about anything. <laughs> nigga say, <laughs> my man, Pinhead Larry is the truth. I don't yeah. care if he gave you a straight. Pinhead Larry was hard until <sighs> Sandy woke up. Who are you calling? Dirty Dan. <laughs> that smacked, aka Patrick. <laughs> Which one of you is Dirty Dan? I am smack. <laughs> I don't need it. Or, or my favorite one with that old man. How many times we got to tell you? <laughs> <laughs> I he, love the young people. <laughs> yeah, bro. He was being so nice. I was it like, man, why they keep beating this man up? And then right up and say, oh, he's going to kick my butt. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, old man. I love the young people. <laughs> <laughs> 
That was the voice, bro. That was the voice, bro. Oh, get oh. up on this stick. <laughs> How many times we got it? Is <laughs> and they was nowhere to be found when a nigga was about to get beat up. SpongeBob, SpongeBob yeah. was blazing away before our time. SpongeBob had protests. Yes, mm-hmm. And hey, mm-hmm. hey, who hold the Krusty Krab has got to go. <laughs> 99, 99, well, 99 was a good year, mostly because of SpongeBob, bro. Yeah, yeah. bro. And right. it came that whole, uh, it was, I don't know. Like I said, he as soon was as they incredible. introduced him, bro, it's like you knew he was about to be a wave. Like, right. yeah, bro. Like, it, it, the fact that you can still watch it to this day and laugh, as, dog. As a, man, what? I go to sleep to SpongeBob, bro. Like, dog. for real. And it's in the jokes, they hit different now that you're an adult. It's like, yo. that's a, That's a lot of cartoons, too. That you is. go back and watch him now, he's like, bro, I did not get this shit back then, bro. bro. That is so right? fucking crazy, dog. So one, of, one of my shows, it don't come on no more. What? But, oh, man, the what? Marvelous Mitch Adventures of Flapjack. <laughs> oh, I remember man. that show. I remember that, that show. That show there, it bring you down to tears. <laughs> oh, my God, dog. Dog. Flapjack, man. I remember they that canceled show. canceled it. It, it was very, very raunchy, like for yeah, a kid. When a lot of a lot of them right? were. It was like, on Cartoon Network, right? Uh huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like like the Powerpuff Girls with the the the, the Tom Drills, hey, Mayor's Pop, girl. Pop, what was the uh, what was they? Like, uh, why were they so thick like that? The Rowdy Rough Boys. <laughs> what was their names? Rowdy Rough Boys, uh huh. Ojo Jojo, plus the Lumpkins. Stupid. He had it on deck. Oh no! That's my gift, man. That's my. That's one of my favorite gifts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the big guns again. Yeah, man. Oh my god, I'm not old. I'm 38 years old. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, bro! He don't understand. That show, that show, nah, that was nah. really funny. Nah, they it, it was it was a different time back then. It was a yeah. Whole, it was before the COVIDs, before. <laughs> it was before it just made you appreciate the BC good times before as a COVID. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Like, take yeah. me back for real. It not was too a time much machine. censored. Not too much cancel culture was out bro. there. You can and literally like, watch anything. Level was it, bro? It's, bad. it's so crazy that it's so many phrases that were like made up in the past, like three years that I've never heard of before. <clears> then, <throat> like half of the stuff that's being like the phrases that we using, like like I said, cancel culture. I was like, I never heard of that. And half of the phrases being used, I never heard of stuff like, are people making this stuff on the fly, or has this like Pretty been much. on? Pretty much, yeah. Niggas make it just, up on the fly, and then a uh, it it catches a wave. A crowd yep. follows it, and then it just becomes. It's like cancer. Like it's cancerous. It's, it's yeah. just it it. yeah. It just spread. It just starts like something. COVID. Yeah, like I, basically, <laughs> basically. Like COVID. It, it spread real quick. Oh, you was at that house party. You got it. You was at that house party too. You got it. You can go to that house party. You I got it. it. I ain't even gonna lie. The homie Johnny Bravo would not make it in twenty twenty. Like, oh my God! Johnny Bravo oh, would have been God. a male masculinity. Yeah. Oh no! First, not even that, bro. Sexual you know, harassment. Sexual. You know how I mean? you know many times so. that nigga? Huh? I see. You know how many times they would have meet too, Johnny Bravo? Yes, bro. Oh, Johnny oh, Bravo. Yeah. Come here, baby. I'm surprised the Tricks Rabbit is still out here. No, oh, Johnny Bravo, my best. They switched up the the slogan. <laughs> That man, that tricks are for kids. I want them. You are a pedophile, rabbit. Right. Get your ass on. Pedophile, rabbit. Most of these cereals. You got to think about it. Like the Lucky Charms man was always running around with these kids and feeding the marshmallows. Sweets and shit. Actually, delicious. Nah, he knew. Nah, that that nigga was trying 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 to get away from them though. Yeah, he wasn't trying to get. Trying to get away from them. (laughs) Yeah, they were trying to steal the cereal, bro. He was like, there's two and Sam that always had the kids around. Yeah, a bird. Can't like that, dog. That's my that's my friend, man. Don't do Toucan that. Sam. Don't do not Toucan. The, not the toucan back to party. Nah, Toucan. I'm trying to figure out. Didn't the, the cookie? Am I tripping or the cookie crisp? Uh, it was wolf, wolf. changed. 
because I think back in the day it was like more like a like little red Robin Hood wolf. Like he was like trying to kill him. But now it's like he friendly and shit. Now nah, he was trying to get the cookie, man. He was but, trying to yeah. get the, the cookie. But you don't notice now it's like he like cool. Like he be hey, chill. man, times has changed, bro. He like yeah, yeah, yeah. everybody times listen. Changed, bro. Everybody had a, a twist. Look at Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> Man, Chuck E. Cheese looks Chuck e. on crack. <laughs> yeah. Nah, he slimmed down, bro. Chuck E. Uh, Chuck e on out. crack. Bro, he nigga slimmed yeah, down. Oh, Chuck E. got a triple bypass. <laughs> only, only person that only, only pizzas person he was that, eating. Only person that hadn't changed since like the nineties was Chester Cheeto. You're right. I'll give you that. But my boy still, he's I still the coolest motherfucker out though. <laughs> he got three D though. He still snored cheeses. He still snored cheeses, boy. He still. With the shade, but still on it. Rocking the rocking the PF flyers. Oh, Wait, hold up, Tony. Tony Tiger too. He just passed away, but you know Tony was Tony stayed the same oh, too. Yeah. yeah, Tony too. You right. You right, Tony too. That yeah, was like, like our Wheaties combo. Like it was so much athletics going on with Frosted Flakes. Mm-hmm. Like they started yeah, putting was. cheese with athletics on it. Like yeah. nobody was eating that nasty dry Wheaties. We wanted it because the athletes was on it, but nobody was. Eating yeah, nah. Let's just, just keep it a buck, bro. Let's just keep it a buck. Nobody was eating the Wheaties. <laughs> Niggas only had the Wheaties just to have a box. Box, yeah, yeah that's it. Because they your mama do. made you eat all of it. You better eat all this. Oh no, nah, back in the day, if y'all man, you can't waste no <laughs> food. You can't Stupid. waste no food, bro. No, nah, we had them them cornflakes with the bird on the front. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, had to, you had to put half a bag of sugar in there for the taste. <laughs> put a whole bag of sugar in that joke. What you mean? Yo, your tooth fall out because yeah. all these a whole bag. This, of this was for niggas. You had to keep that on it. Niggas that didn't have the frosted flakes, you just had to make do with the corn, corn flakes. flakes. Put the sugar in there. No, you didn't, because because you was trying to be name brand. Everybody had that. Off brand cereal, girl. Of course. Mm-hmm. And that, actually, the off brand was a little bit better Sometimes. than the regular bread. Sometimes, not, the, not okay. the Tootie okay. Fruities. <laughs> <laughs> or the HEB wow. buddies. The HEB buddies. Whatever, whatever the off brand was, the Lucky Charms was live. Because the, the off brand Lucky Charms gave you more marshmallows. They knew what you wanted. They, they, yeah. Exactly. They, yeah. I just hate that they didn't put it in a cereal box. It always looked like dog food. Yeah, they, put it, they, put, they put it in a Ziploc bag. Yeah, man. bro. They, we got to carry it over your shoulder because it's like two pounds. It's, 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 no, it's, it's no handle. Like you picking up a bag of rice. Yeah. <laughs> put that cereal don't come like in a box. Bag. It come in a bag. It's just a Good big morning. Bag. Oh, Good my morning. God. <laughs> oh, a big <laughs> ass bag, bro. <laughs> You know it. You don't got no name on it. You just know what cereal it is. Yeah, you know Good what it times, is, bro. Oh, them two Good fruities times, right there, bro. You eat them muffins with no just put just hand in there. Yeah, hey, of course. I've always yeah. said you can tell how a person living by looking at the top of their fridge, and you, it'll tell you everything you need to know. If the niggas is living good, you, you'll see variety. If the niggas is on hard times, hey. you ain't gonna see. Too much I think it depends because I don't even eat cereal as much as I used to. Dang. Um. But I always keep like um, cinnamon toast crunch because I could never get cinnamon toast crunch cinnamon, growing bad. up. Cinnamon toast crunch used to—it's like so expensive and it come in a small ass box, and cinnamon I could never really crunch. get them at the crib when I was young. So now I try to keep a box. Ooh, with apple jacks pretty heavy. Apple jacks. Hi, you know what I messed with? That was like kind of like I slept on apple jacks, but apple jacks yeah, is hard. Same here. Nah, I was on Pops heavy. Mm. I didn't like Pops at first. The Dude. only thing I liked about Pops was the commercials. But And that's why. <laughs> that's why. My, Pops what about the Rice Krispie Treat cereals? Well, not Rice oh, Krispie Treat, the Rice Krispies. Yeah. What? Nigga, I'll pull a bowl right now. And you can make some Rice Krispies what? with them. <laughs> with them. No, <laughs> you know you make that bowl with some Krispies. Two for one. Huh? You know what cereal made me uncomfortable because of the commercial? What? Reese's Puffs. <laughs> Peanut butter chocolate flavor. It was just Reese's like Puff. Reese's Puffs. Puff. Terrible rapping I ever heard. Oh, and it they, so they, they, they Reese's Puffs. Um, Reese's Puffs. Peanut butter chocolate flavor. We want to get in touch with our 
African American viewers. So she was cringe. Go bro. ahead and get a little rap in there. It was always yeah, a little light skinned boy cringe. freestyling. Not a dude. Not not, I can't go back to his middle school because he embarrassed. Right. <laughs> and then he's gonna be he gonna just set a blaze in that hole. <laughs> well, you was on that Reese's commercial, but I don't see. <laughs> that orange well, jacket. That dry cereal. Nah, I don't nah. fuck with peanut butter no way, so I definitely want to eat that. I just didn't see that like flavor. <laughs> nah, you just, just get down with that. You know who was a, no. You know who was a crackhead though? Uh, the cocoa puff bird. Oh yeah, cuckoo for, for cocoa, cocoa puffs. puffs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, Bob, you don't calm your ass down. <laughs> he wants to he ain't rehab right puffs. now. Did he? That mo's wasn't that good, no way. Nah, I ain't really care for they the see him out the window. Only... Mom, he's at it again. <laughs> And you, you trying to pay? And he like cracking and trying to pay with some cuckoo cocoa puffs with 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 two nickels. Hey, like, hey, I got, I got oh, my point back. <laughs> Go got all Give me a little tea. I'm gonna let him. I'm gonna let him taste it. <laughs> <laughs> gonna be here all night. You go. <laughs> hey, you fly off. This nigga said you fly. <laughs> like, white boy in the bags out. You, that's all. All good. Like if you look at like crackheads, crackheads will break out of like all of that stuff to ask you for change. They up in there talking to themselves. Hey, brother, you got that right, bro? They do, bro. Like you turn from another nigga. Like, now, hey, you know, man. What, you know what I hate. I, this happened to me like the other night. I was at some uh some restaurant, but it was like out like they had like a little outside patio area, mm-hmm. and dude, dude walked up. Came with his backpack on. He said, "Hey, how you doing, brother?" Oh, no. um, not the I'm not. Yeah. yeah, not the. He came. He came with the sob story. And every time they do, I'm like, "Man, I know it's gonna be long." He finna. He finna get the rambles. Like, hey, brother, how you doing? Uh, I just moved out here from from Milwaukee, and uh, my friends are supposed to pick Damn. me up, but they didn't pick me up. Can you? Uh, you mind buying me a McRib? I'm like, man, oh, no, you need better friends. No, I'm not buying. McRib. He said, "You need First better." First of all, the McRib's not even out right now. <laughs> You can't be picky. Well, uh, I didn't mean to tell you. I couldn't read either, so I thought that was a McGriddle. You got to hit him with a stop story back, too. Oh, That's man. actually a McGriddle. <laughs> <laughs> you got to hit him with a sob story back. Oh, man, I'm, so done. I'm out here with my side piece, so yeah, I'm, I, I need some, I need some, some too. What you I got? I just got wrecked last week. Yeah. I just found wreck. out I got COVID. <laughs> oh, I got a bad... Oh. Got a bad immune system, so this is gonna be some of my few last meals. I was wondering if I could have your backpack. <laughs> look at that. Did he look at you, bro? Well, that's all I have. Well, this is all I have. Yeah. <laughs> you got now your backpack. <laughs> you motherfucker. I want my life. You got a backpack. This nigga said I'm from Milwaukee. They were supposed to pick me up. They never pick me up. <laughs> it's not funny. But it's just the way you describe that shit. Uh, that's weird. I was like, bro, I'm trying, people, to, I'm trying to enjoy my food. Here you come over here all sweaty. No. It's killing you my appetite. You need right. better friends. Hey, nah, we're going to pick you up from Houston, bro. We got killing you. my Killing my appetite. Really. There, there, it's it's no thinking. excuse. It's really no excuse. You have, like, Salvation Army has homeless shelters that can help you get into, like, a program to get you a job. I mean, I understand people have preferences about where they work, but when you're at a all time low, no, oh, it ain't no preference. You better go flip them patties. You know what I'm saying? Work your way up the fries and become manager, dog. Not work your way up the fries. Experience. Or you can sell your body for fifteen cent. Wow. Don't condone that, but <laughs> he said fifteen cents. Damn. Damn. And if you look good, create only thing. He can go. He can go donate some blood. Uh, I'll be donating a lot. <laughs> be in that hole. How many times you been in? I lost count. I mm. lost count. You start turning yellow. <laughs> now you need some blood back. Yeah, <laughs> give me some of that back. Yeah, I'll be back. I, this week. I, I think I need some of that back. <laughs> I'm gonna give you my blood, but you you give me that pack over there. Pump it into me. Think I got two. Yeah, I gotta mom, be off that. Them all me right there. I I, I got plasma yeah. too. <laughs> I got plasma giving them too. awards. Congratulations to Gerald. He pumped seven <laughs> counts. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, hey, yeah, listen, look. on the wall. 
Hey, look, look, look. Since we all, you know, it's, it's the fellas in here tonight. Um, Go ahead. Man, serious question. Get your shit off. Um, y'all ever thought about going to the sperm bank? Nah. <laughs> just saying. Cause, you know, because they, they pay, you know. I, I, I understand what they do. I just don't want kids out here that ain't mine that I don't know. You don't get that knock on your door at 40? Yeah, bro. <laughs> hey, hey. Are you in Phillips? Well, yes, I am. I've been looking you up for the past 40, 30 years, and uh, you my pops. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> that black, hey, 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 that baby just a taste? Step back just a taste. The door is going to slam right about now. Boom. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I didn't. Yeah. I like didn't, a TV show, man. They're going to fly you out. <laughs> you think it's just going to be sweet. Like, they ask you regular questions. So I'm like, man, they care about me. Black man in America. They care about me. You're going to be on Sperm Springer. Sperm Springer. I'm done. So would I? would you believe? Would you believe me if I told you you had a son? No, I got a daughter, but... I ain't got a son. No, no, no. I, I would believe that. I would I would believe that without the sperm bank. I, I would believe that. Wow. Happy. All right. Man. That's crazy. Wild times. I don't know. I, don't, it, it, I think it would be awkward in there, don't you think? Like if they still if they still handing out magazines for you to go in the room and <laughs> I know I'm glad I got my phone. It's <laughs> What if they had a little camera in there? <laughs> For security purposes. See, now See you the filth going on. <laughs> <laughs> you like happy at you. Rest you of town, you? No, it's different. You you had the sperm bank, buddy. I'm sure they've heard people. <gasps> <gasps> now you want me to go up there just to see who be going up there. Nigga be in that hole with a hoodie on. Some shit. Boy, come oh, out sweaty. <laughs> no handshakes. No handshakes. I'm in a no dick. Nigga hit I'm in a Nigga hit the. <sighs> now, what if, what if you see your partner in there? Like, what if I go in there and I see, I see Ross in there? Do we do we acknowledge each other or just be like, damn? You just. That's a good question. Like, bro. Let's go. Just keep walking. Just keep walking. <laughs> just, just let it go. Oh, never, this is what you be never, doing on your weekends. Never speak of it again. Yeah, just, just we see each other at functions. <laughs> That's it. I think, like, I think, I think if they was paying a lot, you would probably see a lot of your homies there. Oh, depending on how much they paying. Like if they was like paying like two, three k, <laughs> niggas be there. Uh, no, no, put some old powder dust burn up in it. Because everybody in there ain't that's coming in that ain't you know fertile, right? <laughs> so not. Nah, huh? If there was, let me go put some shoes on. I'll go up there now, but nah. That'd give me nightmare to know it's another me out there. And I don't know where you at. And I don't know where you at. You count me right, though. You know what I know. know what I think I know, but I ain't sure. What if what if that happened and like you got like a Rihanna pregnant? Excuse me, Rihanna. Okay, or, I'm listening. Carrie Hilson. Like, what if it was like Rihanna that used your sperm to get <laughs> pregnant? Damn. What would if? You, would you make How it known I... that you? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. I'm sure they got documentation. You know they got to get your documentation. They got to get your your height. They got to know. They got to get mm-hmm. your profile so they can, you know, advertise that to the chick that's, mm-hmm. I guess, using it. <clears throat> Using your shit as a turkey oh. baster. <laughs> if, if that's, if they do all that. They're not using me. Said they're not you using never, you never know. You never know, know. man. They're gonna you run down. They're gonna run down the list. Okay, we have a uh, Mr. Craylin Phillips, five ten, scrawny. Uh, he seems not, not bright. <laughs> Didn't finish college. <laughs> uh, next, let me get yeah. uh, let me get with Joe over there. With <laughs> Joe. Nah, they they go. They not gonna get beat. Get waste management, Bob. <laughs> yeah. Waste management, Bob. He never know, though, man. Here. You never know. You never know. I'll come out with a mix thing and, and bust one in the jar. <laughs> <laughs> and you just, you, just, just think of how weird that is. Just we giving it back. We need to fill up the list line, sir. You get it. Okay. That's not enough. 
<laughs> you give it back. Here you go. They got their little gloves on. Niggas it didn't take you long, a, sir, at all. Having a heart attack just to... <laughs> Not enough. You start wow, squeezing done already? Hey, you start yeah, they hit you with the like it's udder. You start squeezing and pulling like it's an udder. Like, come on, man. Oh. Please, you get the bag in it, please. <laughs> <laughs> or you overflow it. Sir, we didn't need this much. <laughs> Sorry. It's been a while. Nine, nine, two, two cups. You gotta right. pay me twice. Yeah, you gotta um, pay me twice. Um, I'm technically birthing a, a a billion babies right here with this. Right. <laughs> I need a thousand. Then they, we can populate the earth. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Tell when I read the, this. you read the I facts on sperm. Of, like you, your children. Just the army, a whole band. <laughs> hey, <laughs> my nigga, on the cool. <laughs> technically, my. if they all made it, technically, yeah. that's an army in one day. That's facts. Hey, we gonna be the new revolution. Everybody just don't make it. But we made it. Yeah, we did. It's true. Have y'all ever thought about that? Like, just. Oh. So I have thought about that. I got a whole bunch of brothers and sisters racing to the head. <laughs> <laughs> we play, we play Mario Kart. Crash oh, this, this suicide cart. Right? <laughs> when, we get, when we finally get in there, get stuck in there. <laughs> it's Somebody grabbing you by the, uh, by the sperm tail. No, me. <laughs> Watch out, Johnny. You know what, Danny, How y'all got names? I do remember throwing a bomb behind me when I was in first. Dang. This nigga here. Somebody dropped oh, the banana. We was friends. We was friends since the embryo <laughs> days. I, what I, is I, remember dodging, I remember dodging the banana in that thing. I remember dodging it. Like, oh, hold on. Wait a minute. We had to <laughs> fight. <laughs> we don't think about that, bro. We really had to fight mm-hmm. millions to of other cells to get to life. And we made it. That's why we <sighs> we're important. We, we, you born a warrior. Technically, you know? yeah. That's some motivation right there. Unless that another is, one hey, makes hey, it out with you. I'm going to be C.T. Fletcher out here, man. Watch me. <laughs> I made it. I, I survived the first one. He'll get war. you motivated. No, he will. He will. So he'll get you motivated. Fletcher. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he, he made me feel like he was talking to me one day. I was at work watching his videos, trying to think about some workouts to do when I got off. He was like, we over here doing it. Yeah, that's all right. You, what you doing? Sitting behind your computer, not doing <laughs> shit, watching us, you motherfucker. We over here doing the work. You just watching us on your computer, sitting your ass in your cubicles and shit. And I'm like, yeah, you <laughs> nigga. I'm doing something with my life. Right. I'm like, me, nigga, damn, CT. I'm a supporter. I don't be hating. Hey, I'm talking. I got to go do something. Let's go work out. <laughs> <laughs> nigga say he working out regardless. Rain, sleet, and snow. Mm-hmm. But now, nah, um, yeah, man, this is pretty interesting, bro. Uh, um, we are warriors. No, we we need to leave with that, man. That's that's a good little positive thing, like man. You don't yeah. realize you will. Bro, you defeated you millions will. of people to get here. Millions. Yeah. I love millions and <laughs> millions. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about going to the same destination. Yep. And you some just so happen to crack them. Yeah, some don't make you go the wrong way. S- some niggas get lost. Oh! <laughs> I got in first place. Hey, I, I turned the sign around that said this way and turned it that way. They start going that way. I was like, oh, I'm in the lead now. If you were I scheming. To start Mario Kart. They couldn't stop me. Yeah. <laughs> hey, he cheating, man. Why he going? <laughs> His tail getting longer. But now. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> We see a warrior. Uh, no, we are warrior. Warrior. So, a quick question, real quick, before we um, end this: uh, What do y'all think about the homie Mikey uh, Williams? Um, what if he actually goes to HBCU uh, for basketball? What if he doesn't choose one of the top uh, mm. known name colleges uh, to hoop? Since he's like one of the number one prospects in basketball in high school, um, how do y'all think that'll shape up the future? I thought I already said like he committed. Well, not not committed, but like a verbal commit to saying like, "Now nah, yeah. I'm going to HBU." 
But uh, no, but, like once it happened, like how do y'all think? Damn, people, that's dope. I, I think know. that'll be live. Like I, yeah, when I when I heard that, I was like, man, that's that little homie he smarter than I was at that age. Damn, you know? bro. I think that'll be live, man. Like he either I feel like if with him being like one of the top recruits in the nation or whatever, him going to any school, he he's he's still gonna come out on top, you know. Right. It's it's just it's plus he going to HBCU to bring, you know, to bring recognition. But mm-hmm. um I think that I think that's super dope. Like that. that's yeah. that's a, a very very intelligent, smart, knowledgeable little brother, and uh, I wish him all the best. I wish I could. I wish I had the nuts to do that. <clears throat> oh, that's, right. that's, and you know it's gonna follow with other kids, so they gonna want to hoop with them. So they are gonna bring that, which brings right. you more funding. And then, for instance, if Mikey and LeBron and son plays at like Prairie View or something, Thanks. that's that gonna more attention. Huge. That's Nobody's going to want to go to Ohio State no more. Nobody's going to want right. to go miss. They're going to want to go to FAMU at Texas Southern. And be around their culture. Clark, be, be more around they, like around people that look like them and talk yeah. like them and have that same type of, you know, same type of energy. Because when it, when it comes to going to PWIs, there's nothing wrong with it. But, you know, a lot of times they already have their career kind of set up especially if you're going in athletics. So you already know, you know what I'm saying? You're going to school maybe maybe for a year, maybe two years or whatever, build up your craft, and then you're going to the league. Especially if you know you're good enough, you, you already kind of have that mindset. So mm-hmm. it's, it's different. But when you go into like an HBCU and you already know that you have the potential to be a, a, a top pick in the NBA and to make that type of move where people – can you know what I'm saying get more eyes on HBCUs? I think that's dope, bro. I think that is it changes the narrative that oh, all the top athletes, stars, they gotta go to these D1 schools and and that's it. You know, the, the big name schools and and that's the only way you can really make it. And it's like it shouldn't be that way. It should be whatever school you want to go to, go. You know what I'm saying? But it shouldn't be predicated on, oh, well, you went to a uh you know, Alabama or Texas You coming A&M. from Duke. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it should it should get to that point where, oh, he went to Prairie View. Oh, he went to TSU. Oh, he went to FAMU, Grambling. Oh, that's what's up. And especially if they see the athletics and it, 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 more money goes to those schools, I think I think it'd be a, a nice change in just the, the system, how it's, how it's looked at. Because just keep it a buck. Them PWIs, them niggas, when it comes to playing us, they don't take us serious. They don't take all. us serious. No, and they don't. Oh, they think bro. it's an easy dub. A very easy. The only time they take us serious is when they somehow lose. Then them niggas is. <clears throat> and then even on top of that, like amongst other athletes, if you're going to a swag or HBCU, <clears throat> they look down upon that. Oh, like, oh, you going to mm-hmm. oh. If she wasn't that good to go. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it, and like, and it, and it's yeah. it, it, it kind of gets reinforced within our own community. Like, oh man, you going to PV? Oh, I guess you you wouldn't cut out to make it to Alabama or whatever. Right. And, yeah. And, and that and I like that he's changing it. Like, no, I can make it to any one of these schools. Matter of fact, look at my look at my offers. I'm yeah. just gonna choose to choose. go to and I like that that's, 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 that's dope. That's that changes the game because now it's like. Now nah, don't look at the school that I'm going to and make it seem like I ain't good enough. No, this is where I choose to be at, and I'm going to, you know, do what I can to elevate their program as well. You feel me? I'm all for that shit. That's a, that's a game changer for the, the next generation. Mm-hmm. You know yeah, that is. Like, for him to be so young with that mindset, um, that's, that's powerful. And it's showing you that somebody's doing something right, you know what I'm saying, for him to have that, that, that name and that much pressure on him right now. Um, and to just know that he's trying to commit to an HBCU, all he's gonna do is make the other homies follow the same path. Like, nah, right. I'm gonna take my talent. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, he he kind of started it off. Let me finish this shit. You know what I'm saying now we can get that shit in football. We can get mm-hmm. some of the number one high school uh, recruits to go to an HBCU. You know what I'm saying? We can start looking to looking everywhere because it's like we we the talent. You know what I'm saying? And they gotta put respect on HBCU's names. Mm-hmm. And um, with them doing that, bro, I'm I can't wait to see it. If anything, I want to see is is something like that. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm all for that. These big colleges been making a lot of money off of young black athletes, man, to the point to where you can't even 
accept the damn thing. <laughs> like, don't accept nothing because, you know, then they want to get you for endorsements and they want to get you for all these little things. So um, I, I think that'll be that'll be dope. That'll it, It's time to change. You know, it's time to change up the game and uh, take the money out these companies and these, I mean, these schools has been getting money off of, off of us for all these years. They don't really give a damn about you. Big facts. You feel know I me? Mean? So, um, big facts. <clears throat> I just wanted to get y'all opinion on that and um, a little bit of the what y'all feel about the basketball season. Do y'all think it should just stay clear or do y'all feel like it should come back with how they trying to do it with some of the teams that were in the top already um, to kind of do like a little playoff thing to the championship? Um, I kind of like how they how how they got it set up. Um, only thing I don't like is um like how they got it. Damn, how they explained it? It's like when it comes to the play in tournament. I think they were saying like if like if the eight and nine when the eight and nine seed play, if the nine seed wins the first game, then they have to play another game to determine it. But if the eight seed wins, then go. Oh, you know, right. and he they in the playoffs. I was like, I don't like that. <clears throat> but but other than that, man, I listen, I'm just glad to see some basketball come back. Um yeah, I I love I love basketball, I love hooping, so I'm I'm excited. I'm yeah, excited I either way. I kinda don't want it to come back. Oh, it's too fucking bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, they still in the they still in the works though, because some more people is, testing positive. It's just it's gonna lose focus on some of the strong issues at hand going on. And all pretty much everybody's gonna forget about it going into because all they want to see the dunk or three. And like these athletes have a strong, strong platform. Strong platform. Not saying that should be obligated to use it, but the people that have already been speaking out and the people that have already been talking about it, I mean, you are now in the front of what's going on. And you're giving all of these owners, you're giving all of these people that haven't said nothing, more money, more of a platform for something that's probably unrelated. And then what they're going to probably do is throw a little bit of something Oh yeah, I'm so sorry that just to just to keep it to where yeah, it's like just to see like I'm on your team. Mm-hmm. But I still want you to shoot that ball, boy. Let me let me let me let me say something to that because I like obviously it's like either you can't you can't be wrong or right in a situation like that. It's like if you don't want to play, then okay, cool. But if you do want to play, then cool. But with that, <clears throat> with what you're saying, like it's it's gonna distract from like the bigger picture. I feel like it won't because. The major platform that the athletes have is being on national TV. And of course, we need like a nationwide uh, microscope to see what we're trying to change. So I feel like the athletes do come back and they're on that national stage. Yeah, speak out. Just like Colin Kaepernick was doing, doing the whole, we was kneeling during the national anthem. That got major publicity because it was, it was this big magnified glass of what he was doing. And, you know, he was, like, bringing awareness to it during that, like, significant time. So I feel like when athletes do come back, they can use that platform of being in the NBA, just like just like with the, with the shirts that say, I can't breathe. You know, mm-hmm. it was one of that. That brought awareness. That brought attention. Not only that, plus, if you don't play, you don't get paid. And if you don't get paid, then if you, if you want to take the money that you're getting paid by these owners and put it back into the communities, you can't. Yeah, the owners have leverage because they don't want to sign your paychecks, but if you leave it to them, if you if you don't come back and play and you leave it to them, then that money that money the money that they were going to be giving you, they're not going to put it into into your community into your community, or they're not going to bring awareness to the change that we're trying to make. So I feel like I feel like it won't be a distraction. I feel like it'll help, honestly. Like yeah, I want to see a dunk in a three, but I also feel like it'll it'll help the cause even more because it's a lot of athletes that's speaking out, that's using their platform like social media and stuff like that. I feel like it'll help with with bringing it, you know, to the to the national stage of basketball because everybody's going to be watching. You're going to have millions of people watching. It may not, it may not, it may not be a million people watching like on the on on the social media stage or social media front. But when you bring it to a national stage, it's millions and millions of people watching and tuning in. So I feel like you can bring it. You can bring the 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 awareness to a bigger stage like that. So I feel like they should come back and play and use it use it to their advantage. Okay. 
Okay. I mean, I get I get both sides. Um, <clears throat> I mean, well spoken by both of y'all. What do, What do you feel like if we created our own stuff though? Man, I heard that. Like I, I own these. Like I just I mean, because you know we still fighting to try to get ownership of a team. Um, what if we just created our own shit? I mean, own what if? I'd, I'd be down for that. You would like it sound all mm-hmm. that sound good. Like obviously the idea sounds good, but it take mm-hmm. that would take us coming together. It, obviously, it would it would take a plan. Obviously, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like I feel like it'll be. It'd be easier said than done. Not not impossible, but it'd be way easier said than done because a lot of these a lot of these franchises like they own the team and they own the arenas. Yeah. So True. you'd have to figure out. It'll be it'd be kind of hectic to try to figure out where to play. Where all you know thirty teams or how many teams would try to play. You know, like it'll be it'll be it'd be kind of hectic. But like if you get the right people involved, they know what they're doing. They know how to handle the plan. Know how to you know, um, devise a plan. I feel like it. I feel like it'll be kind of live. If anything, I think it'll be the example of that was like the XFL. Granted, wasn't black owned, yeah, but that's the true. only successful yeah. counterpart to the NFL. Because I think it was like the CFL. That shit didn't go nowhere. But the XFL, yeah. the second time it came around, it was actually they were numbers. It was actually like actually watchable. Like it, it was. In fact, a lot of people found themselves watching. More of the XFL, you know, because uh, the NFL was in the off season, so a lot of people were enjoying it more because of the rule set and stuff like that. So I feel like it is a possibility. It's just a lot of people have to be on the same page, and because you know the stadiums they were using, they was using college stadiums. Like, yeah, I was gonna say that. I was gonna say that. Like we could use uh, college like basketball courts. And yeah, I mean, they was using college stadiums and stuff. So I think it's a way around, but it has to be more than just. A couple people voicing it, and it gotta be also it gotta be people with big money behind it too. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it, it'd be one of those type of things where if there is a a league, you know what I'm saying, a black owned league or, or a black endorsed uh, basketball league, I think that would be dope. I think that would be dope. It just that coming into play would definitely take some time, definitely take some coordination. But uh, to go off of your point and Noah's point. Um, like Warren was saying, I see both sides. I see Noah's point of maybe we should just cancel it for this season, still keep focusing on the issue, but also see where he's coming from. Whereas, like, I think we can still keep that issue going and even push it even more because this will be the only thing people will be watching. There's no other sports going on right now. So we can push that voice and, our, you know, what's going on out to to the masses on a national front like yo this is what it is this is what we're trying to change you feel me you know what I'm saying we love the sport because if you're in the nba you know and if you made it to the nba you blessed to make it to the nba like that you love the sport you should love the sport i, I can't speak for everybody but you should love the sport so i'm, I'm sure there's a lot of people that want to just play you know what i'm saying just want to play on a competitive level but they also are aware of what's going on. And I think if you can find a balance where you – that's always the constant theme. Before the game, after the game, doesn't matter. Change, change, change. If that can be consistent and it gets more eyes on there and gets people to, you know, really keep that movement going because I don't want it to be, oh, we was talking about this for three months straight. Cool. Black, Black Lives Matter, three months straight. And it just starts dying down because – other stuff start coming back. If we can keep that being the same thing, just going forward, I think uh, I think it would I think it would have a, a positive outcome than just being negative. So, right. I mean, I, I feel like it would. Um, the only thing the only thing with me though is just like I, I'm still mindful of us just talking, us just wearing t-shirts. Mm-hmm. You know, after a while, I mean, because look at the stuff that's already transpired. I mean. If anything, this would be the right time to create something of your own because all these companies are pretty much at your footstep. You know what I'm saying? Like, why not get an endorsement from all the shoe companies to help not build a stadium but create some way to get it televised? You know what I'm saying? Like, 
you you can get endorsements from Jordan, everything. You can I think we could use right now to actually create our own shit because everybody wants to figure out a way to be involved. And I think the biggest problem is was is that Blondie? That's Blondie. Why you laughing, bro? No. Go ahead, man. Is that Blondie? Oh man. <laughs> I know I was in a serious bag, but just I think he cut his mic. <laughs> he did. Blondie came in now. Hey, what's popping? Blondie came in that but wreck shopping. Right. Oh shit. Yeah, but she she doing the thing that loud because you you on the mic. Don't right. I don't, I don't trust you niggas. Blondie we we, we gonna we gonna let Blondie make it. I'm, say, I'm cool. Yeah, me and Blondie cool. You love Blondie, That's bro. You got to worry about it. You know, I'm cool. I, I got Domino now. I haven't what been the- in long enough, but I have seen some videos where there was a lot of Blondie bashing. <laughs> the Blondie that, bash. From that vanilla wafer nigga, right? We, we, all, we all have had our piece. Oh, of- all right. I have, I have listen a little bit. Yeah. I, ain't, I, I, ain't, I never went hard like you and Malisha, though. We don't go hard. I just be asking, like, what's up? <laughs> like, Ross be mean to Blondie, bro. Like, people don't understand don't that. He be an asshole to Blondie. He's like, get out of here, Blondie. I'm like, bro, she missed you. She ain't seen you all day. Right. Don't care. Like, people don't see that side of Ross. Wow. She don't let him have shit then. Daddy, I miss you. I don't care. Get out of here. Fuck off me, Blondie. Get out of here. Shit, you loud. Calm down. Wow. Calm down. You just did that shit the other day. <laughs> I was just wow. like, damn, Ross. As doggy owners, I can tell you, sometimes it does get annoying. Like, I had a dog for a while. I ain't gonna lie. When I first was a kid, I treated my dog terribly. <laughs> you, you, didn't, you didn't know, man. You were too I young. No, no, yes, he did. Yeah, he did, because I was there. <laughs> <laughs> I, was I tried there. to give him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, I was okay. there. I witnessed it all. Well, Ross is older, though. That nigga would treat the road so bad. And I didn't even <laughs> want to console. Like, it was my dog. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a doggy on her again, so I'm just you know, I'll be trying to get you know maybe Blondie to come through and chill with you know the homie. But play dates, yeah, doggy yeah. play play dates. But now, um, like I was saying, let me finish this point. Um, so I just feel like it's at this point we've I think it's the perfect time to create something of our own because there's so many brands people trying to figure out how can they help, and instead of them just putting black like Black Lives Matter on everything, um, and it just being that, let's go a step further than that. You know, and I want us to play basketball. I do want to get back into it, but I just feel like people are so quick to just get back to the action. You know, we mm-hmm. we quick to get back on the arguments of who's the greatest, and it, it, it's a way. You know, not everybody can handle what's going on right now in sports. Sometimes people do need to just be sitting down and focused on one thing at a time, because not a lot of people can handle too much going on at once. Because people people lose focus on what's really going on and how to kind of keep the motive of what we're trying to get changed uh, to happen and actually change. So, I mean, I, I do want basketball to come back. I just also feel like people can't handle basketball coming back because it's a microwave generation, man. Yeah. We, like, we, once we back on basketball, that's it. Oh, we back on. Yeah, it's done. Who's the greatest? Like, all of that stuff from music, sport, politics, like the next trend is the next thing. Like, well, you know it. TikTok is not going to be the new wave anymore. It's going to be right. something else. Thanks. Thanks man. And, and you don't, if you don't go to work, you don't get paid. That's all I'm saying. You don't get paid, you can't make a difference. All, all the I'm big, saying. all the big time people gonna get paid. All they gonna do is go yeah. overseas. <laughs> That's yeah, still they gonna do. Is they gonna go overseas. That, so a lot of Lithuania games. Nowhere, you're not gonna make nowhere near what you're making for, uh, in the NBA. As a man, women overseas. They make way more than they do in the U.S. <clears throat> this is true. This another is conversation. True. Yeah, that's that's definitely for an- another know. conversation for another the w, time. The WNBA, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, <laughs> I'm on 6%. Uh, uh. He said, I'm on 6%. My shit about to die, cuz. Because he over there in Calabasas. <laughs> Show it. Social clubs. Team. Nah, nah man, this is... This, yeah, no nah, facts. <laughs> Let me let me see the hat too. Let me see the hat. The planet. Who me? He got the pizza planet. I like that. Yeah, let me see your hat, Graylin. 
And there it is. <laughs> For the hype. I, I noticed Ross put us back in frame with his shoes. I, I did thought, not. I hey, Ross, did not. Bro. Hey, I thought Ross, you took it away. Bro. You took I, it hey, away. One, away. More, one more time, boy. I'm, I'm leaving. I'm going to get it. But didn't he move his camera? Like, it seemed yeah, like I he, moved it. <laughs> But you Bro, moved it back. I didn't back. move it back. I didn't move it back. We can see your shoes. That, so, y'all could always see it. And I'm going nah. to shut it, I'm shut it down. <laughs> I might have to shut it down as well. Oh, my. <laughs> One more time, brother, and I am shutting right, it down. All right, bro. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> See that's oh, see man. that's how it was, but then he moved it back slowly yeah. to where we oh, were. Oh, like, yeah. I did not like, move it back else, slowly, uh, bro. I think I, I think the uh, I think another part of the, <laughs> gang bang. I think the, the greatest sandwich of uh, McDonald's history. Hey, wasn't wasn't uh what's her name, Sweetie, eating uh McGangbang on live? Oh yeah, that was her first time eating McGangbang on Twitter. Really. Yeah, that's she crazy. was so amazed, but you know that's, Ross, you know, that's Ross, above her palate. We ought to be co- we, we should have copy wrote that. The gang bang. I mean, we we had been on the gang bang. Yeah. Um, yeah, people like people that work there. When you when you ask them, yo, can I give him a gang bang? <laughs> you funny, bro, but I got slot. you. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where do we get that shit from. I don't know. But it, it always stuck. It's uh, uh, I, the first the first time I heard about it was from Ross back in uh mm-hmm. no 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 I I heard about it I heard about it from you but I think I was already doing it like when they had the uh, you just the, had a name for it you didn't have the yeah, name for it yeah it wasn't no name it just wasn't no name I think I think the first time like having it like a name for it was from me I was like McGang Bang what was that oh yeah so oh, I've been I've been having that oh yeah it's McGang Bang. And then we yeah, just go up to the, the McDonald's at P. Yo, can I get him a gang bang? Got you. I think because uh, of the name, the sauce. it sounded so weird. Mm. Make gang bang. The gang bang. Yeah. It is That's so good, good, bro. You know, that, was, that was the height of our porno day. <laughs> you know the vibe. Bang. You know the vibe. <laughs> so, <laughs> shout out to her. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Eating that for the first time. But I was trying to figure out how Lizzo became trending. <laughs> <laughs> because Sweetie was eating them a gangbang. Because Twitter is wow. toxic. Yeah, nah, Twitter she, is toxic. She, she was like toxic. trending because of Sweetie. And I'm like, how did she wasn't even? Bro, there yeah. was a tag, a hashtag going around saying RP Simon Cow. I was like, the nigga not dead. It <laughs> was just trending. It was literally trending worldwide. RP Simon Cow. I'm like, bro, uh, he's not dead. What are you? All right, bro. I don't have time, bro. That's why I ain't on Twitter, man. Bro, I want to get that big, bro, because these niggas be, <laughs> bro. It, it when a tweet, when it once it get rolling, that's it, bro. It's yeah, we rolling. Time. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's rap, bro. <laughs> like niggas just gonna be putting tags just because I don't. Niggas was tweeting. I don't know what's going on, but R. P. Something. That's that's toxic. You know how many times they killed off Jackie Chan? Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, bro. Yeah. yeah, they've done that multiple times. I'm like, bro, what I, I hate people. Dog, he's alive, <laughs> bro. And it's sad because them people have to make statements like, no, bro, I'm, I'm, okay. not I'm still here. I'm, I'm not dead, bro. bro I'm alive. How, how crazy is that you have to go to your publicist? Hey, I got to make a statement, bro. They think I'm dead. Yeah, look, bro. I'm alive. <laughs> I'm alive and well. You on I'm Instagram, having- look, bro. I'm eating my egg McMuffin right now. Back in the day, I would have played with the shit. I'm like, all right, cool. I am dead. I'm gonna just pop up on niggas and do yeah, a concert. I, I would just be like, yeah, I am dead. I'd have, tw- I'd have tweeted Graylin Phillips, 1991, 2020. <laughs> Wait, who has this phone? Oh, shit. Oh, right. Oh. Closed casket and everything. Wait till like yeah. 2021 June. Come back. Oh, you thought I was dead? You say 2021 June. Come back on I, Juneteenth, 2021. <laughs> I've risen. Two percent. You can't get two percent. All right. All right. How you draw four percent? Yeah, man. It's Zoom. It's Zoom. Eat that battery up. Come on in Zoom. But now this is a (laughs) this is a dope podcast. No, Uh, dope. We need to have more of these. Just chill, just with the fellas. Um, Yeah. Be real toxic. Yeah. Real, real toxic. Toxic. You know that masculinity, boy. I tell you. Of our city. Of our city. But now that was episode 26. Yep. Uh, appreciate y'all boys for tuning in. Make sure you keep on checking us out. Um, sure. You know, subscribe to the channel. All that good stuff, man. You know, oh, go ahead and please, download the podcast as well. The download link will be down below. Uh, keep on rocking with your boys because we rocking with y'all. Peace.
For sure. Love you yeah. guys. Don't ever forget Black Lives Matter. You feel always. me? And it always will. But love y'all, man. Check y'all. Check y'all on the next uh, episode. Woo, and we out this bitch. And we rolling. <laughs>